Welcome back to West Texas View. Sharon Humphreys from the uh, Midland Opera Theater has been talking about this special event that's happening on August the 29th in which this amazingly large number of people have graduated through the public schools in our Permian Basin area, gone on to become very strong professionals in the opera world. And uh, you've already talked about Susan and Eddie and Melissa and Chris Bott. Tell us some of the others that are coming home. Uh, Joe Dan Harper uh -huh. uh, grew up in Midland and he now teaches in upstate New York. I think it's upstate New York. Yeah, it's upstate New York is where he teaches, but he still sings and, and all of that. And so Joe Dan is going to come back and sing for us and he's going to sing an aria from Tchaikovsky's uh, successful aria called Eugene Onegin and um, he's going to sing the role of Lenski. It's, this is Lenski's aria that he's going to sing and he's singing it in Russian. And uh, anyway, so we're excited about Joe Dan coming back and then Heather Johnson Watts uh -huh. is coming back and she currently sings with an opera company in England. Uh, in the in that area of York, I believe. So she's not even just coming from New York or Boston. No, she's, she's coming, coming from England. She's coming from <laughs> England. And um, anyway, and then and she is going to sing. Oh gosh, now I'm drawing a blank. Um, but she's gonna she's gonna sing one of one of the roles that she is well known for huh? in in England. And uh, and then Heather and Joe Dan because they graduated from Lee fairly close in proximity they're going to sing a duet and so you've um, got Susan and Eddie singing a duet and individual numbers and you've also got Joe Dan and Heather and Heather singing a duet mm -hmm. and um, but now we've already got somebody from Level Land, San Angelo, Midland and Michael Samuel graduated from Permian and Michael is, I guess, one of the babies in the group, if you want to call him that. Uh, he graduated from Permian in 2003. And, uh, but he is So becoming, he's already not made a name for himself in he, 12 he has, years. He has, he has already made a name for himself. In fact, he was singing in the Glyndebourne mm -hmm. Festival this last summer in England. And um, anyway, so, cause I, I caught it up with him on Facebook and, uh, um, was seeing that he's performing over there right now, but he's looking forward to coming back. And um, he sings a lot with Houston Grand Opera. Uh -huh. In fact, I, I, we went, a group of us went from here to Houston Grand Opera to go see him and Susan in Deflator Mouse together a couple, oh, a couple wow. of years ago down there. So that was a lot of fun. And uh, anyway, so he's excited about coming back because I think this will be his first time to come back and, and perform uh, at home since he's become uh -huh. a professional. Uh -huh. And uh, so we've got Michael com coming back. Um, we were hoping that Kip Wilborn, who also graduated from Permian, was gonna be able to come. And at first he had said he would, but he's got a definite scheduling conflict and he had to bow out and he was really disappointed <laughs> um, that he wasn't gonna be uh -huh. able to make it. And uh, Anyway, and none of these have performed in that new wonderful building. Su this, Susan has, oh, but Susan's she, the Susan's the only one that that okay. has, as far as far as I know, okay. as, uh, to my knowledge, mm -hmm. uh, Susan is the only one. So, that how many total in. performers do you have coming back? Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh my goodness. Eighteen. There are eighteen of them. Oh. Um, Deborah Patchell. Uh, is coming back and Deborah wanted to do something different because Deborah's done opera but Deborah has also done a lot of musical theater. In fact she we did a, a five questions uh, thing for the Midland Reporter Telegram and I sent her the questions and she sent me the answers and her one of the questions was what was the most um, uh, you know memorable um, Performance. performance that you'd participated in and she was actually in an original cast Broadway opening show and she never did say which show it was but anyway she's going to sing because this year marks the 50th anniversary of the televised version of Bro Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella so she's gonna no. sing that she's gonna sing the song one of the songs that the fairy godmother 
sings in that called There Is Music In You. And because she just thought that was so appropriate because she kept going back and forth. Well, do I sing off or do I sing musical? Do I? And I said, well, what do you what do you want to do? And uh -huh. then she said, no, this is what I want to yeah. do. <laughs> she said, this is this is really special and this is what I want to do. So she's doing that. Adam Belomovich is kind of another one of our He's more of a baby. Actually, actually, I guess he's more of a baby than Michael Samuel, because um, Adam graduated from Lee after Michael graduated from Permian, and Adam currently sings in Florida, and he's going to sing um, uh, Lonely House from Street Scene by Kurt Vile, Ooh. and Ooh. so so that'll be that'll be in English. Um, that's a sad that's kind of a sad song mm -hmm. uh but uh anyway but that that's what he that's what he wanted to do and he's really excited about coming back and unfortunately his parents just got transferred out of midland so but they're so they but, come but back. they're gonna come they're gonna they already bought t they'd already bought tickets and they're coming back so <laughs> anyway so adam's gonna be here um and i can't forget the loretta bybee uh, is another Lee graduate, and Loretta currently is on the, the music faculty uh, in New Orleans. And um, uh, so Purdue she's. Or are you University I can't remember. Of Louisiana? I'm trying to remember. No, um, I'm trying to remember now if she's at Tulane or if she is at one of the other, or if she's at New, um, UNO. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Um, but anyway, she's coming back because she was at the Boston Conservatory of Music uh -huh. for a while. And uh, anyway, but she's going to come back and, uh, and she's going to sing an aria from Samson and Delilah. So that's, oh, that's going to be wonderful. Yes, yes. So uh, we've got all of these singers that are doing all of these wonderful things. And, um, uh, and then there, there are, there's David Corman who teaches mm -hmm. in Odessa. Uh -huh. And David had a professional music career and started having a family and had to make the decision, okay, do we want to raise our family in Europe or do we want our, to raise our uh -huh. kids in America? And they America decided. America won. And America won. <laughs> we got to take a break and we're going to come back because you've outlined almost half of the people that are going to be here. We'll be back in just a minute and continue this conversation. Stay tuned. West Texas View will be right back. 